Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropical Adventures here to do another fragrance review on What Smells Good to Me. So what are we going to talk about? Uh, full disclosure, the fragrance we're going to talk about was sent to me, however I am going to give you a 100% honest review. Before doing that, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button there down to your right. And uh, let's talk about this fragrance. So what are we talking about? We're talking about Ernest Hemingway fragrance. That's right. The man, Ernest Hemingway. Uh, really nice little uh, passage I read prior to doing this video, it says, every man's life ends the same way. It is only the details of how he lived and how he died that distinguish one man from another. Pretty deep, I like that. Okay, so we are talking about this 50 ml bottle of sweet goodness. And that's actually how it opens. Ernest Hemingway was a big fan of the daiquiri. And that is how this fragrance kind of opens, is with those kind of beautiful notes that he was so fond of in his favorite drink. So you get some really nice citrus, some grapefruit in the opening, some, uh, some vanilla and some sweet rum. Um, you get some bourbon. You just get all those nice little boozy notes in the beginning. It starts to morph with a little bit of uh, soft wood, leather, and then the tobacco and a little bit of amber kind of mixed in there. I don't see any note in particular that really boxes out another note, which is kind of nice, which, you know, it makes it just beautiful accord of a fragrance, uh, which I kind of like. Sometimes, you know, you get a fragrance and one note really just punches and boxes out all the others, and it really just becomes like a singular note type of fragrance. You don't get that from this fragrance. In fact, uh, this fragrance I would consider almost unisex because it's so nicely balanced. It doesn't mean too hard feminine or overly masculine. It's just this kind of sensual, sexy fragrance that I really enjoyed a lot. It, it just, it was uh, very versatile. I could see it as crowd pleasing, um, very easy to wear pretty much anywhere. I don't see where this fragrance would do you wrong. The nice thing about this fragrance too is I could easily see it being worn year round. Um, except for in hot muggy weather, which I, I think no fragrance does well in that weather whatsoever. But it, it just, it, it's soft and light enough that it will do well in the warmer weathers. And I think that certain notes, um, it will just punch up in the cooler weather. So I would wear it on a date night fragrance, office safe for sure. Uh, it just, it was a really nice, fragrance to wear. So what notes are in this? Well, I already kind of named them. You've got, you know, citrus notes. You've got boozy, which is like the bourbon. I smell a little bit of rum in there. You've got wood notes, smooth leather. Um, you got amber, sandalwood, tobacco, and some vanilla. It's aged for six months. Let's talk about how it's worn, how it projects its longevity. So it projects light to medium. The longevity, I got seven hours max out of it. It had a nice little scent bubble for about an hour, hour and a half. And then it was still quite noticeable for up until about the three and a half, four hour mark. And then it started kind of just dying out into more of a skin scent, but it was still noticeable. But I could not detect it really after the seven hour mark, which is fine. It is EDP strength and you know, some people, Fragrances don't last as long on their skin, so I didn't get anything more than seven hours. But I would carry a decant if you wanted to wear it all day long. But for a date night, special occasion, this fragrance is just going to do you right. So what does this fragrance go for? So this 50 ml goes for $79. Right now it's on sale for $69. Um, they're doing a 25% off if you use code LOVE25 before February 14th. I will have this video up before then. So if you see this video and it um, looks like something you wanna buy, I would jump on it for that 25% off code. But they also have this little spin the wheel of fun, uh, which looks like this. And you can spin it and try your luck. I don't know, grab a gift card, grab a certain percentage off or whatever it gives you. You gotta put your email in to get it. Um, but there you go. So uh, if you're looking for a hardcore tobacco fragrance, 
you're not gonna just get like hardcore tobacco out of this. Like I said, uh, all the notes perfectly balanced and work quite well with each other. So one doesn't punch out any of the others. So can you smell the tobacco? Absolutely, but it is a light, softer tobacco. And uh, like I said, unisex fragrance in my opinion. So ladies, if this sounds intriguing to you, I would jump on it. But I really enjoyed this fragrance. Uh, it smells really, really nice. Uh, the only con I would say is I would love for it to last a little bit longer. Other than that, it smells great. Uh, I really like these notes all mixed together. It made a really nice, sexy fragrance in my opinion. So that's pretty much gonna do it for my uh, review here on Hemingway Accoutrements. Go to their, uh, their website, follow them on Instagram. They make a beard oil, they make a shave soap, they make a whole bunch of stuff with the notes in this fragrance that can all go together so you can just smell awesome. So I wanna thank uh, Hemingway Accoutrements for sending this to me to review. I really enjoy this, this is really badass, sexy fragrance. And I really think you would enjoy it if you enjoy those kind of notes. With that being said, follow me over on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures. Like I said, subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support from everyone. And I'll see you again for another fragrance review. Take care.